I used to do a joke in my act. This was years ago where I talked about how, um, you know, and this was back before, I think this was before the 2016 election where Trump's big uh, campaign promise was uh, he was going to build the wall, which by the way, uh, recently the Supreme Court just gave him money for that wall. Just okayed uh, 2.5 billion for that wall, which by the way, tell me again how we can't take care of people during a pandemic when they're giving Donald Trump money for the racist border wall. Oh, and by the way, someone, uh, someone recently was like, what do you mean the border wall's racist? There's been other, there's been other politicians calling for the border wall. Okay. <laughs> Joe Biden, Joe Biden supported a border wall. I know. Yeah, I know. And you're still saying it's racist. Yeah. Yeah. How, how does that, what do you, do you think I entertained the idea that Donald Trump invented racist policy ideas? He didn't invent them. They've been around long before him. Long, long before him. Joe Biden supported a border wall. Yeah, it's a racist idea. Hillary Clinton was in support of it too. Yeah, it's a racist idea. And Donald Trump's in support of it. Yeah, and it's a racist idea. If the border wall isn't racist, why are we only interested in building it south of the border? Why aren't we interested in building one over Canada too? Which brings me to my next story. I um I used to have this joke in my act about the border wall where I would say, look, I think the only way the only way we're going to see a border wall is if we tick Canada off enough. Um now unfortunately, that has not come to fruition. They're working on the border wall. They just okayed bill billions for it. But that uh that call regarding Canada <laughs> kind of happened. Canada sends patrols to prevent caravans of Americans <laughs> from surging across the border, which, by the way, shout out to Mima, who uh, sent me this story on Twitter. Mima uh, tweeted this story to me. She is Canadian. Thank you for that story, Mima. Uh, I got a chuckle out of it. Uh, so Canada is sending patrols over to the uh, to the border to prevent caravans from of Americans from surging across. Since March, the U.S.-Canada border has been closed to all but essential traffic in an effort to contain the spread of coronavirus. But Americans being Americans, they are flouting the new regulations in pursuit of their usual summer fun. According to NPR, the Canadian Border Patrol has effectively prevented caravans of Americans from crossing the border. Most are arriving by sailboats and luxury yachts. And here's the thing. As time goes on, some are going to try to stay there. Some are going to try to stay there. Uh, so here you have Canada needing patrol to keep us out because we're a capitalism death cult, because we're not really a country at all. And people are watching the system crumble hard before their eyes. That's what's happening. So uh, that is very dark, uh, very dark humor there. It is uh, it is funny in a very uh, in a very blissfully uh, uh, not not blissfully in, in a very uh, blissfully tragic way. It's tragic in the sense that, wow, this is happening. It's blissful in the sense that, you know, we need to rip the bandaid off. So it is blissfully tragic, which I know is a uh, uh, which I know is a contradiction. But you see where I'm coming from. We need to rip the bandaid off of what our society really is and what our society is really doing. And then, and only then, can we begin to fix it. So, all right. Uh, that's a little fun story across the border over in Canada. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know? Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 